When unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, began circling in earnest over agriculture a few years ago, they created quite a buzz. Yet many questioned whether these devices could really be a game changer on the farm. Companies like Aerovironment are working to prove that they can make a difference. We invented the drone about 30 plus years ago and it was mainly for the Department of Defense. We about 85% of the aircrafts in the Department of Defense do come from us. We have millions of hours of flight time and then we've seen another operation which is uh, helping people in agriculture to make better decisions. As a drone manufacturer that also we pay attention to the analytics as well. Everybody is always asking for that ROI, what we can do for the crop, where we're at. What we did is we sat back, we wanted to make sure that we learned what the grower themselves was looking for. And what they're looking for is for someone to point out an anomaly. What we mean is a difference in the field that we can go scout to. As an example, uh, you know, when we're scouting a field manually, we only look at about 5% of that field. With the aircraft, or the drone, we look at 100% of that field with a very objective view. And we don't make claims that, hey, I can say that that is nitrogen deficiency in that field. What I say is there is a spot for you to go look at, and it is up to you to decide what you need to do to change, you know, if you need to take a different mode of action to help benefit that plant. So what we're doing is we're giving in-season verification of different applications or growth stages of that plant. Aerovironment's complete ecosystem also addresses the issue of efficiently processing images to help farmers make more timely decisions. So the turnaround time from the time that you upload it to us to the time that we get it back to you this is about 24 hours. So we actually give the user a notification via email or text when it is done uh, stitching and that the report is ready. Uh, there is a dashboard that allows you to quickly view your fields to see what is going on in your fields. If you would like to deep dive into that, you can actually zoom back into your field. But it doesn't actually give you like a printable report. It is a cloud-based tool that is storing it there permanently versus you know a printable report that you're going to try to organize differently. So we try to look at this as more of a filing folder that is on the web. Under that 24-hour time frame, is you know it, it, a lot of plants are changing. The exciting thing is, is that our Quantix has what we call quick looks. Quick looks is in our ground control station. The second that it lands, we can now visually view that data that we've collected at a little bit lower resolution, about 10 inch uh, GSD ground sampling distance versus the one inch ground sampling distance that we get on our uh, data analytics tool. So you can still respond to that perishable information that you've collected by visually looking the second that your drone lands. As drones steadily gain a foothold as a management tool to help farmers scout their fields for weeds, pests, and nutrient deficiencies, these devices are also taking crop adjusting to new heights. We would send anywhere from four to eight adjusters out at a time on let's say an 80 to 100 acre field and they would be walking blindly. They would have no idea exactly where the location of the damage was, so they would have to walk the entire field. So you can imagine on a heat index day of maybe 110 degrees, you would have eight individuals walking this field, trying to make sure that they have covered the entire field, trying to locate damage. So once we are able to identify the fact that this technology existed, the first thing we thought was is that we could then fly this field, locate the damage, and then that would lessen the opportunity we had in order to make people walk the field blindly and save time and energy and safer for our adjusters. Uh, generally when I would arrive with a, a drone I'll put it in the air about a hundred feet and shoot a panoramic. Uh, hot spots or the damaged areas if it's wind damage or green snap something to that effect uh, they're easily seen. We still have boots on the ground but one of the things we do now is locate those hot spots with the drone and then go out and do our counts in those areas. It gives the farmer a lot of confidence we've looked at everything because they're usually standing right there with me looking at the iPad as I'm flying it. And if we see a spot that looks different, it kind of stands out, uh, generally we'll fly over that to that area, drop the drone down, take, a, take some close-up shots. For Iowa farmer Doug Applegate, the potential uses for this technology in his operation are endless and exciting. We farm here in western Iowa, just east of the Kansas Bluffs, and in Omaha area, uh, we grow corn, soybeans, and about a 1,500 acre operation. 
Yesterday we flew uh, Doug Applegate's fields and uh, on June 28th they actually had a, an extreme incident take place. They had a, a maximum amount of wind come through and they had some green snapping in an area of about 40 miles wide and about 40 miles deep. Big area was affected. We wanted to quantify the number of stocks broken uh, somehow uh, for the crop insurance. And so we did fly with our drone and capture pictures at the time. Uh, but I had difficulty in quantifying that information and also associating that with the varieties in the fields. We, so we weren't sure if we could or not, so we put the drone up in and make sure that uh, we flew the entire thing. And the exciting thing is that he had hybrid planted maps that allowed us to look at the, at the planted maps and the aerial imagery and we were able to correlate what numbers of hybrids stood better than the next. If you are considering integrating a drone into your management program, experts say to start off small. I think that a lot of growers have switched from that utilizing or viewing a drone as a toy and now they're really looking at a purpose-built tool and that's what Quantix is. It is optimized to be able to collect the information they need to help them make better decisions. And I, I, I highly encourage an individual that if they would like to uncover data, I would start with a satellite. Starting with a satellite is free and inexpensive. You go out to that area and you can verify it in a big manner because it's again only 10 meter GSD. But you get that data free of charge once you understand that, yeah, hey, there is a correlation here, and yes, there is some things that I can do to make my plants better, more efficient, then I suggest that you switch over to the drone. Once that drone is, my, my recommendation is, is to make sure that they have a, a drone company that has the entire ecosystem, that has the drone, the data analytics tool, and the advanced analytics, that it allows them to also export and collects both images at the same time, an RGB and an NIR. We need that multispectral data along with the RGB for historicals. As farmers brace for another year of tight margins, it's natural to question the value of a UAV. Yet experts argue that the best time for proving a technology's worth is when profit margins are so tight because you no longer have that margin of error. Making the right decision is critical and tools like UAVs are proving they can make a difference. How do you justify? It's hard to put dollars on these things. Uh, it's kind of like having a yield monitor, essentially. It's really hard to directly correlate savings or profitability from a yield monitor. Um, but it's what you learn. And you take that learning and you apply it to the next season and, and you just learn, continue to learn more and it evolves into higher yields and higher profits over time. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.